Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We actually have some sort of news to talk about. There's been some delays in filming. We got some rough episode counts for some of the shows in this next coming season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about is a range of stuff. We do have some questions to go over at the end of the video, but for now we've got some topics to discuss. So apparently some of the shows that were aiming to film near towards the end of July have actually been delayed by a few weeks or, you know, a month or so, something like that. I don't know the exact specifics, but essentially most of the shows are probably going to be pushed back in terms of their filming for you know a few weeks or so no matter when they happen so what is happening right now and what i'm hearing is that apparently supergirl is most likely going to be 18 episodes for this next season and this could potentially change due to delays and everything like that and superman and lois apparently is going to be maybe doing 18 as they got an extra five additional episodes if they want to do but they'll either do 13 or 18 but with how the filming schedules are, it seems like Superman and Lois will probably do 18, or it could potentially cut down to 16, but, you know, there is a big probably in all of this. We don't know everything right now, but as of right now, there is talks that, you know, Superman and Lois could get 18 episodes as of right now as an option instead of doing 13. But then again, if things get delayed, they probably won't have time to actually film 18 episodes if they want to. So it all depends on when they get to go back, but there have been delays in when productions are going to start. Also, there is a question of coming over to the Canadian border with American actors coming over because I believe that they will have to separately quarantine if there is like any couples. So like Melissa and Chris, if Chris is not coming onto the show and Chris is not officially working, apparently they'll have to quarantine separately so I don't think that would be a good thing obviously that will be later in the year but for example like Danielle Panabaker and her husband they just recently had a child and so like is there a possibility that some of these cast members won't be coming back because you know Danielle won't be able to look after her kid for this amount of time like I don't know what's gonna happen but there is some big maybes in all of this and some people may not return so I got that little piece of information from Pagey. Maybe you guys have checked out the video. I'll leave the link in the description below to that. But that is where that is referenced from. And so, you know, right now we are kind of waiting for DC Fandom to get all of the confirmations. But as of right now, Supergirl is probably going to be doing 18 episodes as they start in November. Should be at least a little bit better by then, definitely in Canada. I'm not sure about America, but the actors shouldn't have a problem actually getting over there. It's really dependent on if they want to come without their families for such a extended period of time, essentially. And also, Superman and Lois does have the option to do 18 episodes as of right now. So, you know, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in the near future, hopefully. And the big shining light over all of this is definitely DC Fandom, whenever that is eventually going to come, sometime in August. There is going to be panels for all our shows, there might be some potential trailers, The Flash has the possibility to put out a trailer for that because they have basically finished episode 1. Obviously they got to remove Hartley Sawyer from the episode because he's been fired. So there's going to be some reshoots for episode 1 of The Flash and there's some footage from Supergirl from the finale that they didn't use. So there is potentials for trailers at DC Fandom so maybe look out for that. However. We're kind of just waiting for the panels to get confirmations on are we going to get a full season run of all of our shows? Are they going to be cut back? I would say right now, probably most of our big shows that normally would do 20, 22 episodes are going to be on episode counts of about 18, possibly pushing it down to 16. And, you know, I think the other shows are pretty much going to stick to 13 or something like that. So, okay, let's move on to some of your guys' questions. You guys have been sending in some great questions recently, so please be sure to go over to the community page right now and in the comments down below, leave your topic, question, theory, or idea to be included in one of these upcoming videos. So, wanted to include some of this because that kind of news and that kind of rumor part of this video 
obviously it wouldn't take up like a whole video so this is my second part because there are some great questions that you've sent in all right so the first question comes from chad merrill on youtube who asks hi ben i wish melissa benoist would do a remake to the movie supergirl do you think this would be awesome like i do so i obviously completely agree with you supergirl as a film with melissa benoist would be the best thing like ever like i would be so hyped for that that would be my number one film of the year without a doubt maybe barring if like grant did like a flash film or something like that but anyway so melissa benoist could she do a remake of the original supergirl film or like just a new supergirl film in general yeah she could she could totally do that if she had the time but she definitely doesn't have the time and especially this year because they are starting to film in November for Supergirl season 6. They're going to get at least episode counts of up to 18 potentially. They might have to shoot that many episodes. And so they're going to be filming for a long while. And potentially into the summer of next year when they start filming in November. So you wouldn't have much time at all normally when they start filming around like July. They end filming towards the end of April or sometime like around the start of May. They have a couple months off, and then that's it. And then they're booked for the whole year with Supergirl and, you know, the DC shows. Like, no matter what actor it is, whether it's Grant or Melissa or anyone else, they will be booked up the whole year with the show. So, you know, that two-month gap, there is potential to film normally, like, you know, a couple of films. But the Supergirl film would be a massive deal, and the shooting for that could be much longer than two months. So she basically wouldn't have the time and they would have to spread out the filming over her breaks and you know maybe she doesn't want to do that she works so hard all year round she's in vancouver like nine months of the year which is insane because she lives in la and her family's in la and she has to be in vancouver this long so it's already a massive commitment so it would be the biggest commitment in the world if she had to do supergirl like a normal season and then go on to film for her entire summer her entire break and film a supergirl film so it wouldn't be very likely at all like right now obviously it could happen after supergirl ends after the tv show ends but right now i'm gonna say it's not gonna happen but i agree with you it would be awesome if they did a supergirl film with melissa benoist that would have my full support behind it all right so let's move on to the next question this comes from zara abdullah on youtube who asks who do you think is the header of leviathan so this is a interesting topic to talk about because at the end of last season we had the robot version of Gemma gamine who appeared to be like some sort of demonic robot and we don't know what the hell has happened with her so she is different from the other leviathan members maybe she is the head of leviathan that they've been talking about all this time because they have been talking about a higher up at leviathan and surely with how they ended with Gemma, considering the fact she's not dead unless she had some sort of malfunction as this robot which i'm pretty sure she didn't so you know who is the head of leviathan seems like Gemma's going to be around so maybe we'll get the answer to that at the start of next season before they defeat Gemma. maybe maybe they've changed their plans maybe they've kind of cut off this leviathan storyline with how they've had to you know change filming schedules and everything like that but most likely they plan on bringing back Gemma and bringing back the leviathan storyline at least for the first half of the season and so we'll have to wait and see i don't have any particular guesses right now i think it could potentially be Gemma, but potentially it could be anyone really so i don't have a solid answer on that okay so the last question comes from zara again who asked do you think lex will show up in superman and lois so i haven't made a video on this recently but there was news a while ago that they are casting a new lex luthor a new person who is not going to be john cryer and i don't think it's like they're recasting john cryer because john cryer is still going to be on supergirl but it's a new version of lex apparently according to reports apparently it's a version of lex from another earth who escaped after crisis and it's roaming free and superman and i'm guessing lois have to stop him so it's like a new version but the explanation is it's lex from another earth that is why they will have a new version of lex luthor so yeah he's gonna show up but 
it's going to be a different version, so it probably won't be John Cryer from Supergirl. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.